Hello, this time I'd like to make you familiar with enter or punch current frame. Never forget that you can always read the latest, most up-to-date information about each of the commands from our website. As we can see here, enter or punch current frame has three different modes and each of these different modes is associated with its own shortcut key. The shortcuts being F2, Control plus F2 and Alt plus F2. In CS 5.5 and CS 6 and all the newer versions of Animate, the default flash behavior upon double clicking a synced symbol as is the case with this head would be to enter at current frame. But in all the earlier Adobe and Macromedia versions, the symbol used to always rewind and upon double clicking, you used to just enter at frame number one. An extremely unproductive method, which wasted so much time to the animators. So this first function of the command, the enter only, which is triggered by F2, is mostly for all those of you who are still using older versions of Flash. It can either work with a frame selection on the timeline or it would also work on the stage if you're in a key, of course. The punch part of the command it's very useful if you need to mark a specific frame externally so that you can later enter the container and change, say, a facial expression. So how does it work? Imagine that you would like to add a, a blink at frame 480. Select the frame and you have the two options of either pressing Ctrl plus F2, which creates a key, gives it a little um, comment label punched frame so that you can know. And if you open this key, you would see that keys have been created across all layers inside this symbol. So we can now add our blink. And then if we say Okay, this is where we would like to open the eyes again. This will be the end of our blink. Instead of just punching and staying here, we can this time press Alt and F2 and it will punch and enter at the same time. So now we've defined where our new blink will appear and all that we need to do is just select the eyes and the mask and go to frame two to add a blink. There you go. On the outside, we already have the, the blink. Oh, and one last thing. Never forget that you can always protect a layer from being punched from the outside by using the either the default no punch keyword or alternatively you can set your own via the quick settings or the EDAPT control panel. Just add slash slash no punch to any layer's name and you're ready to go. Now, if we go outside and punch here, we can see how these two layers with the no punch keyword have been excluded. And this is all. Thanks for watching.